Good morning, everybody, and this is your SMP 500 day trade setups for today. So um, we have tagged the area we were looking at yesterday, which was pretty much the uh, neckline of this head and shoulders pattern that we had here. As you can see we did get a nice rejection bar off it, but then uh, failed to break below it and didn't close above it, but uh, another green bar. So uh, we do have CPI data coming out today. So I suspect we're probably going to hang around for that. Uh, have a look at what the uh, sorry not the oscillators but the um, moving averages are doing starting to cross over and point to the upside and then the second thing is we've got a grouping of the oscillators to the upside and that's a warning sign that you don't really want to be trapped long up there now there is a weekly gap here so uh, you know we're going to try and close that gap this week or next week but uh, you know if it does continue up and let's just say cpi data is uh, much better than what's being expected so you can expect this thing just to keep continuing to the upside remember we've got a gap to the upside that hasn't been closed and now we have this gap to the downside which hasn't been closed as well and breakaway gaps can get quite aggressive and I think the last breakaway gap I'll just go to the weekly for that one last breakaway gap was here and this was in 2020 with the uh, the COVID panic here and you can see that breakaway gap there has not been closed anyway uh, looking pretty interesting uh, we've got, from a weekly perspective anyway we've got a nice engulfing bar and it looks like we're busy with uh, another green bar it's gonna take some catalyst to break through this area that we're in uh, I just want to put one more level here on the weekly because there's a lot going on up here as well and that's right at the gap okay uh let's just get down to the levels that we want to be trading so from an eight hour perspective we can see one-way traffic at the moment trend has not been confirmed to the upside so don't get too carried away you still want to see a pullback onto structure and then you're looking for a move up and i just need to put that swing high in there because that is of interest as well and lo and behold it's right by the other gap so let's get down to what we need to be trading just want to adjust that now the this bar here on the eighth hour was part of the rejection pin bar that we had at uh, 4109 so 4100 is going to offer some sort of support but have a look at the the oscillators at the moment you can see group to the upside not an area you want to be long if you've got a decent crossover you've got uh, we're going to start moving to cross over the, the 155 EMA but uh, at the moment this is not a signal for buying into this market we want to wait for pullback onto structure and uh, first bit of structure at the moment is going to be 4073 and ideally I would be looking at 4000 or 4018 that to me is a decent area for a decent pullback if we drop down to the hour and start having a look at what we've got here look at the diversions forming on the hour see how the oscillators are drifting lower while price is drifting higher like i said yesterday this uh, is a strong bull channel at the moment so it's going to take something to break uh, break through it at the moment have a look at how far apart the moving averages are they're all pointing to the upside so that's an indication of the strength of the move the last two days personally I am um, waiting for structure lower down definitely don't like jumping in on a, a trend I prefer to see pullback on structure and then get in onto that trend and uh, we haven't really had the opportunity the last three days uh, yeah it was a Thursday was chaotic here didn't really give you a decent opportunity would have been nice to be in down there but uh, Friday definitely didn't and yesterday was pretty much the same picture so you can see look at all those chaos I suppose that area there that pin bar may very well have been the opportunity but wasn't a decent signal for me so anyway we were sitting on hands yesterday um, at the moment I am still sitting on hands until CPI data comes out and I suspect we're going to have some kind of a sort of a big volatile move when that data comes up and it'll probably be up and down so on the 15 minutes you can see we do have a bit of a gap here 
I don't see structure to the left for that gap, but there's definitely a gap there. And I want to make sure we're not missing any other gaps. There's just one here. Looks like a small little gap below it there. And that looks like about it. Nothing the day before that I remember. Maybe a very small one here, but this is the one we need to pay attention to. This area here is what we need to pay attention to. So if we hold 41.09, and you'll probably find this gap is at... It has been tested, but it hasn't been closed. That's it, 40.09.2. Um, I think I would rather do something like that at 40.85. Okay, so let's just start uh, the scenarios that could possibly play out today. So 41.09, uh, we could just range all all day or well, all morning during the European session until the data comes out and then sort of breach this, come back, form a pin bar on it and then continue up. Alternatively, the data could be as expected um, or slightly worse than expected and then you're going to expect a move down to come and test some structure below. So the first area that you need to pay attention to is 40.085 and 47.3. Now, it's not great structure. Let's get back to hour for this. It's not great setup. And I should actually just do that. Sorry. So 40.81 and 40.73. That's the zone that you need to pay attention to. As I say, it's not great, but it is probably um, the the area that I would be paying attention to. The other one is, I gave this to you yesterday, and that's this trend line. And you can see that lines up with uh, this area here. So I say it's not great, but it is a good possibility that is an area uh, that you need to pay attention to. Uh, breaking below that, you're probably looking for uh, 4,000 or 4,018 as a retest. So at the moment, that's kind of the view that I've got right now. I suspect we're probably going to range or some sort of a flag. Uh, we are in a bit of a bull trend. And if you look at the three hour, we are crossing over at the moment. The only thing that's concerning me is the oscillators uh, on the higher time frames. They are indicating that we need to be careful. So 15 minutes. Uh, you can see how chaotic this was yesterday, and uh, I did contemplate this move yesterday, but it didn't really work out. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much the long and short of it for me. Uh, wait for pullback on structure. This looks like the most logical area. 4081, 4073, and then also just draw a line in at 4000. Uh, there is a bit of structure here. You can see there's a swing high on it right there, 4099. So... It was tested, though. You can see there it was tested on the 15-minute, but could also offer some kind of support. So anyway, watch those levels. Uh, pay attention to this trend line especially, because if we do have a squirt down, that's what you can expect. Uh, what you may find is a continual grind up until the data comes out, and then a quick squirt down as well. So be prepared for anything at the moment. That's a typical day to day. There is some European data in the morning as well, which may influence uh, the S&P. But um, I'm getting very, very bullish on this. And uh, from a daily perspective, you can see we've had a few green days in a row. We've got a crossover the moving averages. We're coming up to the 155 here. Obviously, we want to get above it and find support before I am completely bullish on the daily. And the last thing that you also need to really pay attention to at the moment is there is a pretty big channel forming here. So, um, yeah, pay attention to those higher highs, higher lows, uh, crossover, moving to the upside. Everything is pointing to a potential move to the upside. We also have this big inverse head and shoulders here. Uh, not a, it's kind of a diagonal, but it's also uh, sort of not a, I prefer, well, let me put it this way, I prefer to see it where, like this head and shoulders, where you've got a solid straight um, neckline. This neckline is skewed, or you're going to take this as your neckline or alternatively taking this as your neckline here. Um, this would also work. It's just a, like a double shoulder head and then shoulder. So break above the swing high, moral of the story. Uh, that is a complete different ball game. And then I suspect we're probably going to tag 
the uh, the high, the previous highs uh, right up here at 4790. So um, be prepared for anything, I think. Anyway, that's enough for me today. Hope it helps. Uh, wait for those pullbacks and uh, jump in with the trend. Cheers for now, and we'll see you tomorrow.